Wow. Yeah. Very nice. nice very tune. nice. Thanks. So, um. Influences. Y- yeah, I was thinking that too. Um, John Denver? <laughs> Not at all. Just kidding. <laughs> I hope it doesn't sound like John Denver. No, no but you kind of look. Uh, John Denver was cool. You know, he's another one. Don't I'm, I'm not saying Don't not. judge a book, man. He was one wild no, and crazy no, no. man. I'm not saying he wasn't. I just, uh, I'm just kidding. I never really listened to him. Well, he had a lot of good hits. He did? He did. Yeah. People were closet John Denver fans, I think. I but guess. all right, back to you. Who were your influences? Um, I actually listened to a lot of Michael Jackson growing up. Yippee! Um, right Do you know today in history, April twenty first, Thriller got knocked out of number one spot. Yeah, but how long was it there for? It was <laughs> there for. Oh, that's, she knows. That's, yes, I do. It was there for thirty seven weeks at number one. That's pretty good. And uh, you know who knocked it out? You know who knocked out? Freaking thriller! This oh. is crazy. Footloose. It's not that crazy. Footloose. I mean, it was a huge. Footloose knocked it out. A huge record. Huge was good. movie. Yeah. Huge everything. I know. That's who knocked it out. Something had to do it. So, um, all right. Uh, other than Michael Jackson, um, Pete Yorn, Iron and Wine. Uh, there's a guy by the name of Devin Williams who's a uh, traverse like some punk and then into some folk bands. Uh, take a lot of inspiration from him. Other than that, like. Some early dashboard confessional, some Death Cab for Cutie. Oh, I love them. That Those that, that one song. I mean, are they ever? Are they? Oh, you, what is it? Um, I don't know. They've got a bunch of them. No, the big one with the like eight thousand minute intro. Oh, I, well, possess I, I possess your heart. Your yeah, heart. that song is just. Mm. It's just so brilliantly great. I love them. Yeah. I know. Well, well, those are all pretty good. All right. Well, we have a little segment on our show. Uh-huh. And um, we're about to ask you, skeletons in my closet. I know I try to get at least one a day. Um, I'd like a skeleton from your closet, please. Um, I do. I don't even try. I don't know. I mean, I haven't... Uh, don't you do... Doesn't anything bad, so. happen to you during your course of living? Uh, I mean, like, in... Um, you mean like like you know bad things that I've done? It doesn't have to be bad. It just has <laughs> to be something that you know uh, you would you didn't plan it. Something you wouldn't want to tell it. anybody else. That oh you, well, that um, you'll now reveal for us. Right. Oh, all right. Well, Thank I mean, it's you. it's been a few years, so I'm probably safe to. Uh, all right. To that say it. it's, it's something huge though. Uh, in college, it's gonna be something like he murdered somebody. But no, you know, it'd be all right. <laughs> Oh, it's the kind no. of guy that can like come out with one. They just be unexpected. No, I mean, I think like, probably the worst thing I've ever done is um. Oh, yeah, I used to, like, throw quarters at un- oncoming traffic in my hometown. Ah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty dumb. So, Did wait. Did you cause an accident? No, no, I had a few people turn around and chase me, though. Oh. Uh, somewhat of a delinquent, I guess. Well, all right. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's real delinquent. I, I well, I was trying to say delinqu- somewhat, you know. I yeah. Mean, I'm not How old were you? Uh, 16, 17. That's kind of scary. If you said, like, nine, you know. No, so you would throw quarters? Or you know, um, well, how do you do? Mo- moved on to like uh, not rock so- sauce packets from from McDonald's. Yeah. Ah, just like wait to oncoming. So that is like pretty. Like while driving. That is pretty. It was um, pretty stupid. That's pretty dangerous. All right, that that's pretty. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it's kid stuff, but yeah, but you know. All right, I I'll, I'll take I try, that. I try to keep it. I never heard concerned. that before. I I didn't really know people did that. Yeah, not many people oh, do. Do like uh, so if any so. if anybody does, well, my dad once had a a boulder thrown off a what? bridge, broke his windshield. Yeah, we heard about instances like that, and we stopped. That happened in the Bronx. It was actually, like, you know, that, if that's, there are if that's boulders in the Bronx. Yeah, off Who a knew? freaking bridge. You know, wow. like one of the an overpass. He was driving, and um, his friend Elliot actually <laughs> worked in the Bronx, and uh, a bullet went into Elliot's car. And you know, it saved his freaking life. You know, the headrests. Mm-hmm. He was in the driver's seat. He had a headrest. The headrest caught the bullet. Wow. Wow. So you know, you throwing quarters and packets of. Saucer Kids McDonald's, play. to me, that's kind of like, you know, throwing a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it pissed people off and made for it. Yeah, hard I, I prefer your things, though, you know, because they're not at, I mean, it's all danger. There is, well, I well, guess. Lego, you could really throw in like a Frisbee. Could, Just wing it. Could, you know, I don't know, but, you know, I once heard something, there's no difference between the common cold and cancer. You know, everything is equal in its own little realm. So I guess your little packets and... Well, blah blah blah. Could have escalated. Yeah, it could have. I'm glad you didn't get any serious yeah, you, you repercussions. Both. But you know what? Today is. Oh, if I say it anymore, it's supposed to be 
chocolate covered cashew day and I had to do this instead. It's I think it's better. Nobody here's allergic today. That would suck. Well, then they wouldn't have any. Yeah. But Phoenicia, would you like some Still cashews? Works. They're good, right? It works. It's so good. Any last shout outs you'd like to say, Dupe? Where do you, what's your uh, where can people find you online? I'll give you guys these. Um, oh, great. Copy of uh, my CD. Uh, this is without the bands before I Here, Phoenicia. Um, Why don't we EP's put it in right uh, now? EP's called The Lion Will Speak. The Lion Will Speak. Uh, and you can find me at thelionwillspeak.com or MySpace or Facebook. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, that's on uh, iTunes, CD Baby. Cool. Tell all your friends. The whole shebang. Who's the other David Brooks? There's like a, isn't he a journalist or something? New York Times guy. Yeah, he's good, actually. I like him. I haven't read any of his stuff, but well, my friends keep messing with me about it. They're like, so you write for the Times? I'm like, no. Wow, maybe you guys should do a gig together. <laughs> maybe yeah, he can he write can about write you. Lyrics, yeah. David, shout out to the other David Brooks. David Brooks, write about David Brooks. That might be a fun little um, story. Nice. Yeah, That's as long nice. as he's not driving. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So, thank you. Thank David you Brooks, we're going to play your, your CD right now. As, oh, yeah. um, I like that. Yeah, so thank you again. Right, you sent it fabulous. All right, we'll be right back with Jesus on Ruin Who. Jesus. April 21st.